Ladies and gentlemen, it is here. The Xbox Series X from Microsoft. That's right, it arrived at my doorstep today. We're going to show you the unboxing, the setup process, and we're going to play a couple of games. Let's get into the intro and then we'll unbox this thing. Okay, let's get into the unboxing. First, you have these tabs. Just rip them off. And that's just going to make your unboxing process a lot smoother. Once you have those tabs off, you just lift and open. And here you are powering your dreams. And you just have everything neatly put in front of you with a box that has the accessories like the controller and uh, most importantly, the cables. So you have the HDMI 2.1 Ultra high speed cable. Now you do not have to buy your own HDMI 2.1 cable. A lot of people have asked me about that and nope, it comes with the console and the only reason you'd wanna buy one is if you needed a longer one. The new controller is pretty cool. It has a share button in the middle now so that you can just tap it to screenshot or you could hold it and record a clip, which is really cool. The actual feel of the controller is very, very sturdy. Um, all the buttons are very clicky. They feel really great. The new triggers are pretty cool. I, I gotta say, like, I haven't heard a lot about the triggers and just feeling them for the first time. I thought they were really good, and I thought more would be made of that, but I guess not. Um, overall, man, the console design is pretty different. Like, it's a cube, and it's, it's cool, though. When you hold it, it's kind of heavy, and it feels, it feels like you're holding a powerhouse. Now, I tried to fit it into my little cube shelf and we're gonna have some issues with airflow I think so I don't know how long I really want to keep it here it might overheat I also tried to put it sideways but that didn't really do much better here I am plugging it into the back of the Xbox and you only have one HDMI in on this Xbox so it's gonna be less confusing when just blindly plugging it in now plugging it into your TV, you want to make sure you plug it into the right port. On the Q90T, you want HDMI 4 because that is the only port that can do 120 hertz, 4K, HDR, and VRR. Next up, you want to go into your settings and turn on Input Signal Plus or HDMI Deep Color. And for other TVs, it may be called something different, but usually you do have to enable a special HDMI input through the menu to make sure that you have the HDR color selections. Let's take a listen to the startup noise, shall we? Here I am going through the setup process on my phone. Microsoft actually makes it really easy to just download the app and go through the settings, connect to your Wi-Fi, and then you're in. It is really, really smooth, and I really appreciated the setup process overall. It really felt like it was a smart device that I was setting up, and it was nice. So after you set up your console through the phone app, you're going to have to figure out everything you wanna carry over from your other console, and that process can be a little tedious, but if you have a second hard drive, it does make it a lot easier. So that's something I do recommend if you have another hard drive. Now you're going to have to sit through a couple of things where it's updating the controller and the console. So do keep that in mind. But once you're set up, you want to make sure you go into your settings and display settings and make sure that you set your console to the correct settings. I recommend 120 hertz output on 4K HDR with VRR on. I think this is gonna give you the smoothest 
possible gameplay out of this TV. And overall, I haven't had any issues with it. Matter of fact, I really, really liked it. <laughs> like, I thought that it was pretty smooth and the response time was near instant. So if you guys don't know, if you set your console to 120 hertz, you're looking at 5 milliseconds on the response time, which is incredible for this TV. Now, overall, you want to make sure that everything is properly ran on the HDR settings. So there's an HDR calibration for auto HDR. And if you don't know, auto HDR is older games getting HDR thanks to Microsoft's algorithm. And this is a really cool thing where you can get some of the older games that you really like to play and they almost feel like they're remastered. The colors often pop and they're vibrant and it's just, it's really great overall. Now, I'm jumping into Ori and the Will of the Wisps through quick resume just to show you how fast we can get back into the games. And I'm going into options and showing you that we are indeed running at 120 frames per second at 4K. Keep in mind we also have HDR and VRR active. So there was a lot of people saying that that's not possible on this TV. And so here it is working out of the box day one. 120 hertz, 4K, HDR, VRR, all at the same time. And I'm glad that it does work, but why the misinformation? Why do we have that? There was like one HDMI 2.1 device to test, that's it. Now let's hope that the rest of the TVs have no issues out of the box as well because I heard HDMI 2.1 across the board was broken for a lot of people. Now, I don't know if they just didn't set it up right or if there's any truth to that. So let me know in the comments below if you're having any issues with your TV. And if there's any issues you're having with the Q90T, please do write. And I'll try to help you myself because I haven't had any issues with the Series X and the Q90T so far. I think that the color is fantastic in game mode and older games, man. Auto HDR is incredible. Here I am playing Sonic, which didn't have HDR, and it's just a perfect game for HDR. It's so colorful, it's so vibrant, and it's just running so smooth. There's an anti-aliasing that gets applied on every old console game, so that's also really cool that Microsoft does that. So all your old games just feel like they're remastered really cool another cool thing was how fast stuff loads like getting in and out of stuff going quick resume back in the games that you are already playing and it's fantastic there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do and a lot of things that i want to demonstrate was uh loading times and just exiting madden out of the menu and then getting to the main menu it was really fast i was really impressed and on top of that, getting into an exhibition game from the menu was really fast as well. As you can see here, from the button click, it took about 5 seconds and we were in. Before, we are looking at a pretty long loading time to get into these games. So, having this is really great. And here I am switching back to Sonic Generations with Quick Resume on. And as you can see... I jump right back into where I was, getting hit and losing my coins. So, that's pretty awesome. I gotta say, uh, quick resume is something that is really welcome and it really makes the console feel next gen. Even though there's not a ton of games to play on day one that were designed for the Series X, you still do have a next gen experience with the loading times and all the old games to go back and play in HDR, which is incredible. Now, I said I wanted to try out Burnout Paradise in HDR and man was I impressed. This game looks fantastic in HDR and overall I like um, what I'm seeing. I did some comparisons 
with a uh, game mode on and off in this video and I'm gonna show them on these clips and you can tell me in the comments what you think and what you like better um, I did this previously in my other video and it was pretty well received and I wanted to do it again because we are on a new update and I will have an update video for you guys sometime this week hopefully uh, it's just a really jam-packed week we got all the series x you know the series x stuff that i want to do and then playstation 5 on thursday hopefully if the mailman comes through um but yeah it's uh pretty impressive overall i am very happy with the series x so far i can't wait to play assassin's creed valhalla um that game is still currently downloading because it just takes forever to download not sure why maybe it's my internet speed time to upgrade i guess um anyway thank you guys for watching this video i appreciate it so much you guys have been amazing uh stick around we have more series x gameplay coming up and we also are just gonna have a lot of stuff on next gen consoles so if there's anything that you want to see or watch me showcase let me know and i'll be doing that uh, I really want to get into a lot of the auto HDR stuff and uh, comparison videos with that. I think that would really be cool. And of course, on Thursday, PlayStation 5 comes out. I'm going to try to have videos for you guys right away on that. And any Demon Souls fans? Because I am excited for that game. Man, um, I didn't think they'd remake that game. And I'm really excited to play it because I've never played it. Um, what do you guys think in the comments? Tell me what game are you looking forward the most this month for either the Series X or PlayStation 5? What are you trying to play? Is it an older game? Is it a newer game? Please let me know in the comments below. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Can't say that enough. Thank you for watching and have a good day.